We're in Windows 8 and Windows Server 8, and I'm going to show you uh, how to see the memory utilization in the Task Manager. You can get to the Task Manager by right-clicking anywhere on the Task Bar at the bottom, choosing Task Manager, or doing Control-Alt-Delete and choosing that option. From here, we'll click on the Performance tab, and then we'll click on the Memory tab. So if we look on the right-hand side, we see a graph version of how much memory is in use. It's fa fairly flat-lined right now. It shows that in use we have 388 megs out of almost uh, a gigabyte of memory assigned to this virtual machine. And the bottom here we see some different uh, things that show additional information about the memory that's being used. And that information is the committed, first of all, the committed is the page file that's on the server or the workstation. This is the total size of the page file, 2.7 gigabytes, and this is how much is actually in use. So that's virtual RAM. On the right-hand side, we see cached information. That's memory that's just being used for system resources to make Windows run. So that, at this point, is 247 uh, megabytes is currently being cached and used by the system processes. At the bottom here, we see the paged pool. So you have, this is similar to the kernel memory page pool in previous versions of Windows. And the paged pool is the virtual memory that's being used by the kernel. That's the lower level processes uh, of Windows that's running. And over on the right hand side we see the non-page pool. That's the physical uh, amount of RAM that's being used. It's not virtual, not being part of the page file. So this is the physical RAM, currently 19 megabytes. So that's uh, an overview of the memory. You can also double click on the memory right here and then you can see a tiny little box of the task manager. It gives you an idea of all three different types of things, CPU, memory, and network information. If you double click back then you get uh, the task manager back again. You can also double click inside the memory box itself which is interesting and then you'll end up getting uh, just the memory box uh, that will show up graphically. And if you want to go back to the full task manager, you just go back to the top and double